Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, Tech Industries. If you ever need someone to show up to your place of business and or work, go around and slap everybody right across the face and then run around the room screaming and then run back around the other direction and slap everyone on the other side of the face. Go ahead, call Tech Industries, they'll square it away for you. <sighs> Crazy. Why you would do that, we have no idea. Uh, anyhow... Thanks for the money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today, we're going to be talking about a game that we have kind of preemptively talked about before. That's right, uh, before its release. And, and, you know, a lot of pushbacks and delays had come out around it. And we were like, okay, uh, that's not a day one pickup for us. You know, we're just going to kind of ride this wave out. And we rode it all the way out to Black Friday, where we picked it up for 15 bucks instead of 60 which in our books is pretty good. Can you get it cheaper than that? If you can, you should, because even at 15 we don't hate ourselves for purchasing it. And that's right, we are talking about Crackdown 3. So, Crackdown 3, all in all, uh, you know, this is just our kind of preemptive review, because, you know, disclaimer, we haven't beat the game yet or anything like that, um, you know, or delved into everything that it offers. But what we have done is put in at least 10 hours, and we are having, uh, you know, a great time with it. You know, it's a fun, great play. Uh, now, as far as, like, you know, a ratings board or anything like that, man, like, yeah, it's a solid 7 or 8, like, right off the bat without even going through it. Uh, somewhere in there, we'll say, uh, you know, we'll say right under 8. Because uh, they do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, fairly well. Like, stuff that we didn't think we would enjoy as much about it, we actually do enjoy. Um, and then stuff we thought that we would enjoy about it, we actually don't enjoy as much. But, you know, it does fall into that. You know, they do everything okay, well enough. Um, and really, what it comes down to is they seem to kind of knock into and rip off from a lot of other franchises. Kind of like, uh, you know, and we hadn't played it yet because no one's given us, uh, you know, sponsorship for it but we you know the fallen order kind of thing everyone kind of uh, from what we've seen says they pull a lot of stuff from different places you know and kind of pack it together package it in the star wars universe and that's kind of what crackdown does you know if you uh ever jumped into the just cause series or anything like that in essence that's what you're playing you're playing just cause but you're playing it in the future uh you know so like a future kind of timeline things like that uh where this one excels, though, uh, over a lot of other games is the uh, the dialogue. Like, obviously, it's rated M for, uh, you know, strong language. And for all the other games that, you know, get M ratings and such and, you know, kind of claim it, at least these guys don't back down from it. And that is something that we actually do admire and respect about the game is that they don't hold back with, like, you know, the piddly stuff. Um, so, you know, that being said the gameplay and design itself or whatever is just outdated. This game should have came out back when uh, Infamous 2 came out, uh, you know, and there's no reason with how it plays and everything that, you know, it really shouldn't have. You might have sacrificed one or two things graphically, maybe? Uh, but, you know, yeah, we don't, we don't see that because, uh, you know, with the kind of uh, cel-shaded style, uh, you know, and that kind of like, you know, vibe that Borderlands or 13 or any of those brought to the table. Uh, you know, yeah, like the artistic art direction of the game isn't what it's fault. It's the actual gameplay itself that, you know, kind of held it back from anything. Uh, but what we can tell you is that we enjoyed um, Infamous series and we enjoyed Just Cause and The Saboteur and, you know, all of those kind of, uh, you know, take back over an area thing, uh, you know, climb towers on lock them thing you know all that's really good um and we have had a blast with this and we'll continue to uh play this and it at least gives us a reason to pop on the xbox mainly because microsoft hasn't sent us an xbox one x yet so we play all our games on our ps4 pro so you know xbox get with the time send us a free xbox one x and you know we might play your system a little more than we do uh but you know for the exclusives that's the entire reason that we got the xbox because anything that's out on both you know is pick it up on the playstation because we don't have the one x so microsoft get on it damn uh yeah crackdown three all in all uh you know we picked it up for 15 man on one of the little black friday sales entirely worth it uh totally not unhappy with that purchase if you find it for that or cheaper uh, and you like any of those pre-mentioned games or anything, you should have a decent little time for it. Now, we haven't jumped on the multiplayer or anything like that, but from what we had seen, most of that all looked like it was pretty crappy anyway. So, yeah, none of that matters too much, but 
uh, one other little gripe is, uh, so obviously, Crackdown, there's only one crack on the box, right? And then they have another picture where there's two cracks and such. Like once you have it installed, there's two cracks on, uh, you know, the little thumbnail. Uh, with it being cracked down three, we expect three butts to be staring us in the face instead of just one and then two. It doesn't make sense. It's cracked down three. I want three cracks that I can, you know, kind of stare at in the thumbnail, not just one. And then when it's installed, not just two, which doesn't make sense. It's cracked down three. Uh, anyhow, that's a little side gripe. Uh, also, their platforming needs work. That's one thing that we thought we would enjoy the most about it. But yeah, man, the controls, like for as tight as they are in some aspects, in some areas, uh, they really, really, uh, you know, miss the mark just a bit, man. And uh, man, when you're doing a platformer, you gotta be able to land on the things you're trying to land on or else it does get a little frustrating but it is very forgivable with checkpoints and things like that um you know and even to an extent you know if you fall off of something you've been climbing for a minute uh, a little generous with that on like their little respawn thing you can do and such but you know, all that aside, uh, it is a solid uh, pickup for the cheap price. You will have fun with it if you are into those, uh, you know, more kind of open worldy, uh, you know, take back uh, from evil corporation type storylines and such. It's not going to really present anything new except the environment and, uh, you know, things like that. So it is what it is. Uh, not a bad little pickup. We have enjoyed it, like we said, and we'll continue to do so. Crackdown 3 preemptively what can be said about you well you know we're going to uh we're going to say you get a uh you get a b because you're better than we thought you were actually going to be and that's a good thing uh so yeah no we've been we've been enjoying it it's a good play so check it out or don't we don't care we don't see money from it microsoft send us free shit have a good one you probably didn't we'll catch you next time probably won't